Hi, it's so good to be back with you again today for another one of our jam sessions. Next week, as you know, we hope to have a very special service for all our younger folk in church. So if you're able to bring your family with you, that would be fantastic. We would love to see you. Just get your mum or dad or your granny or whoever to phone into the church office this week just to book a space for you and your family to come and share our service. Today, I want to tell you a little story. It's another one of Maximus Mouse stories. Maximus was crying. I could hear him the moment I came into the church sanctuary. It was a little snob and sniff, so I knew he must be upset about something. Maximus, where are you? I called out. <laughs> I could hear from under one of the pews. Maximus, I gently said, come on out and talk to me. Maximus appeared, holding on to his handkerchief, which was absolutely sodden wet. <laughs> oh, Maximus, I said, is something terrible happened? He still couldn't speak a word to me. But he wiped away the tears from his eyes and he blurted out, M Mr. Merman, nobody likes me. Oh, Maximus, that's not true, I consoled him. I like you. The children in church like you, the grown-ups at church like you. In fact, I think everybody loves you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mother, but that's very nice of you to say so. <laughs> so why are you upset if we all love you? I asked Maximus. Well, well, you see, it's, it's the other mice who don't love me, said Maximus. They never choose me in any of the mouse games, and when they do, I'm always chosen last. Well, Maximus, I told him, you are in very good company. What? Mr. Merlin, were you chosen last for games too? Um, well, I said, um, no, <laughs> I wasn't always chosen last for games, but I was never really chosen first. Except when it was a game called British Bulldog, when my size and strength was needed. Really? said Maximus. But isn't it best to get chosen first rather than last? I asked him. Well, well, that's not quite the way Jesus saw it, I told Maximus. Jesus realised that sometimes life could be very unfair. And he told some folk who were upset about it that God believed that the last should be first and that the first should be last. God thought we were all special and that sometimes it just might be nice to be chosen first. So he reversed things, giving everyone an opportunity to be first. Jing's minister, God is really clever, declared Maximus. He certainly is, Maximus, I say. He certainly is. Boys and girls, I, d I know that sometimes maybe you feel that you don't get picked first or, you know, other folk get the better of you. I wouldn't worry too much because God thinks that we all deserve to be first. So let's give thanks to God in this little prayer. I'm just going to bow my head and close my eyes and share this wee prayer with you. God, thank you for choosing me to be part of your team. Thank you for choosing me to serve you and thank you for choosing me to be part of the people who can help to change this world. May you bless us today. 
May you bless all those who feel they never get picked, that you have chosen them and that you have called them. And may Jesus' name be blessed now and forevermore. Amen. Look forward to seeing as many of you as possible next Sunday at our special church service. God bless and remember, look out for our Where's Maximus video which is coming up just after this. Bye. Well, this is Where's Maximus number 14 and as you can see we're in our living room in the manse and there's all these books because we're putting together for some of the grown-ups little book bundles as part of some of our early fundraising. All these people have to do is, is to send their name or who they want the books to go to and for £5 pounds they'll get three books sent or delivered to that person. As long as it's kind of local, we don't want to be travelling all the way to America or Canada. Well, poor Maximus was very upset and I, I just don't know where he's gone at the moment. He seems to have disappeared. He was through chatting to me earlier, but maybe he's away trying to see if he can find any books that are his. I'm not sure if there'll be any kind of mouse books here in amongst us. I wonder if you can see any. I wonder if you can spot Maximus anywhere round about. I'm not sure if he's been here or not. Did you see Maximus in amongst it? Well, you guess and you tell. <laughs>